Wishing each and every one of you a very, very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year 2022. I hope and I wish and I pray to God that this new year brings auspiciousness for you and for everybody else, uh, materially, spiritually, mentally, socially and from all perspectives uh, of human development and spiritual realization. But uh, as this year is ending, we have some special transits going on. I have recently made a lot of transit videos in the weekends, but I saw many of you have requested me for this one special video, which is the transit of Mars uh, and K2 uh, together, uh, which I already spoke earlier. But uh, this is a special uh, day, 30th uh, of this month. Um, Mars is going to cross the degree of the eclipse which just happened uh, <clears throat> in the sign of Scorpio and uh, on 17th of January next year 2022 uh, Mars is going to enter uh, the sign of Sagittarius okay so so till 17 January next year um, mid uh, January uh, you will uh, see that Mars and Rahu are actually in opposition and when Mars and Rahu are in opposition see you have to understand um, they say that Rahu behaves like Saturn and Mars behaves like Ketu right so why do they say this uh, now you will you will you will uh, sometimes feel that um, some planets behave like some other planets, right? <laughs> so, for example, sometimes uh, Mercury can behave like Venus. Venus can behave like Mercury sometimes. Uh, but uh, in this case, we have uh, Rahu that uh, behaves like Saturn and uh, Mars that behaves like Ketu. Now, what does this mean? And does it literally mean that, you know, they just uh, become the other planet? No, it doesn't uh, mean that. It means that uh, the planet itself remains who he is. The planet's nature does not change. But the planet tends to behave uh, in a way that other planets behave because they think uh, by uh, behaving like somebody else, we may uh, also become better, right? So because of that, why does some, uh, some, they say that Rahu behaves like Saturn? Because, see, uh, Rahu and Saturn are both uh, Vayu Tattva planets, right? Wind. Wind is the energy. So, therefore, uh, or air you could say, right? So, now, uh, what does air represent? Air represents two things, enjoyment and uh, suffering, basically, right? So, <clears throat> what does Saturn do? Saturn tells you that you are not happy. Saturn is the significator of greed, right? Saturn uh, says you are not happy, you are not uh, fulfilled, you need more, actually, right? Uh, now, even Rahu says that, right? Now, Rahu and Saturn, uh, they are a bit different in the sense that Saturn says you don't have, you you, you will ne never be happy. But Rahu says uh, you just don't need something, you need everything of this world, right? And then when you keep trying, 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 and then there's a point uh, in your life which comes where you say, oh, that's it, you know, I, I, I thought I will get everything and be happy but uh, i'm still unhappy right so uh, that that's where you become unhappy so that's where the angle of enjoyment and suffering uh, as bhagavad gita says you know, it's like together uh, in a particular horoscope in a person's life and similarly with k2 uh, mars can behave like k2 sometimes because k2 is the significator of confusion and headlessness all right it's more of like headlessness when uh, see, confusion means uh, you see something and you don't know what you should decide, right? But what if you don't see anything at all? That's like K2, right? It's totally headless, right? You, you don't know what should you do at all in life sometimes. So, uh, during that, during these times, what, what do people do sometimes? You know, when they're headless, they're confused, you know, they... They either harm themselves or they harm somebody else, you know, or they commit violence towards others or maybe even towards themselves. So even Mars, when uh, without 
when held without a direction uh, headless then the same planet can behave like k2 sometimes okay now uh, this is a very important uh, one seven axis in the uh, taurus and uh, scorpio axis so so if you see uh, this this is happening in the sign of taurus and scorpio rahu is in taurus mars is in scorpio so what is this one seven axis of taurus and scorpio Taurus uh, represents stability in one word, right? All other elements of the world uh, which which are related to Taurus is um, is dependent on this one word, stability, uh, security. And what does Scorpio represent? Insecurity. <laughs> so instability, insecurity, all the ins of this world, you know, they are all uh, with Scorpio actually instability, you know, insecurity, right? So now what happens is you know, Rahu in Taurus tells you that you need to be secure, not because Rahu likes security, uh, but Rahu feels that I need to uh, get obsessed with security. So see, wherever Rahu transits, there is obsession related to that house, right? So whenever Rahu is transiting uh, in Taurus, there is an obsession related to security, which means uh, that you feel that whatever security you have is not enough. So, so it's like an instability because see, Rahu is the planet of instability. So it's like a illusion of instability to be, uh, within stability, right? It's like uh, messing up your life to make life more non-messy, right? <laughs> It's like making your life unstable to become stable, right? It's contradictory, but that's how the Rahu energy uh, is behaving in Taurus. So uh, now what happens is when you have Mars in the opposite sign of Scorpio. Now Ketu rules, co rules Scorpio and Mars also rules Scorpio, right? And uh, we recently had this eclipse and on 30th, as I said, Mars is going to cross this. So... Now, what happens when Mars and Rahu are in opposition? The thing is, you got to understand that your obsession about security, which is apparently coming uh, through uh, instability, through insecurity because of Rahu and uh, Mars and Scorpio, can lead you to do things which you uh, may not like later on, which you may regret later. So, therefore, it is very important that you understand why you are doing what you are doing so if you feel that you are not happy in life as of now you need to become more stable more secure to become happy then uh, maybe it could be because not because that you want stability but because you are uh, you are insecure about the things that you already have so rather than you know trying to become more stable trying to become more prosperous so rather than trying to do all this, you you might need to check with yourself and uh, with some guide or guru or counselor or any senior person that you have, how much of the security that you think you need is actually your need, right? So when this Mars Rahu uh, 17 axis uh, transit is going on, you, you might feel that um, yes, you you need this. Without this, how can you be happy in life, right? There's something in your life, uh, especially related to the houses which Mars rules in your chart, depending on your ascendant. You may be feeling that this is not enough. I need more. And how can I be happy without having something, right? So your mind may uh, cheat you by telling you, oh, this is a basic bare minimum need for you, right? How can you be happy without this, right? You cannot be happy. It's basic need for everybody. But what we forget is this is not some Jupiterian energy or you know Mercurian energy. This is the energy of Rahu. Rahu is a very tamasic planet. It's um, because of that. What happens is whatever is your want, you feel as if it's your need, right? So there are two things in life. One is you know the wants, and one, the other one is the needs, right? Needs are like, you know, basic as they say, home, clothing, shelter, and like roti, kapra, makan, food and all this. Uh, but uh, want is like, you know, oh, I want a billion dollar mansion. I want like, you know, a million trillion dollars. I want like, you know, uh, to enjoy. I want to eat the best foods. I want to do whatever I want, right? So 
so suppose it could happen if uh, is, if mars is your fourth lord uh, it could happen that you already have a home but rahu may tell you oh you will not be stable if you have this home you need a bigger home right i'm just giving a, a very simple example to explain so because of that what happens is even if you have something you don't value it now you feel this is something which everybody has and uh, why at all should i not uh, look for something better okay but the problem with this is uh, this is just an illusion because the moment you get the next thing rahu will again tempt you to go and do something else right so you have to understand the agenda of rahu the agenda of rahu is to make you feel dissatisfied that's all rahu wants so therefore if you feel regarding the houses that mars rules in your chart there is something which you are lacking in life so you really need to sit down and meditate and ask is this something that i really need or is it just my want right wants are unlimited wants can be like anything right but we have very finite needs right we don't need so much in this world now this is not to discourage you from you know going ahead and pursuing some career or money or you know having a better life i'm not i'm not saying that but what i'm trying to tell you is there could be a time in your life uh, especially till, till uh, mid of january this year where you might be told by somebody else that my dear sir my dear madam enough is enough what you are doing is totally nonsense it's really stupid it's idiotic and if you think this will make you happy then you are mistaken okay so therefore the crux of this transit is that you understand that there's nothing wrong in pursuing better things in life uh, in having a better life better luxuries better comforts uh, better security rather right there's nothing wrong with it but you have to understand that it it can never be a end lasting goal right it can never it, it should not be rather a never ending goal because if you are always running like this then you will never feel secure so your goal of security which you wanted to have by becoming more insecure will never be uh, completed right so therefore you want to understand that everybody will get things as per their own karma so you can uh, do your efforts as lord krishna says in the bhagavad gita right you can do your efforts but um, you have no uh, control over the results the results will come by your endeavor and your previous karmas and by my uh, desire as lord krishna says so therefore you may do so many things in this life right so like so many other people who are successful but they may have a different karma from their previous lifetime right so there are many people who relatively get things much easier in this life uh because not because they are better than you in this life but uh they might have done something in their previous lifetimes because of which they are getting the benefits now okay so therefore do not become jealous of people or envious of people who uh, have more than you because this transit can give you a feeling that somebody else is more secure somebody else is more lucky somebody else is more happy somebody else is more rich somebody else is appearing to be better than you but actually it could be the other way around they might feel the same for you when they see you they may feel oh this person has so much you know i wish i also had uh, like him or her right so therefore understand that you need to improve your life absolutely nothing wrong with it but at one point of time you got to realize that somewhere i have to stop okay or at least if even if you don't stop but you have to stop obsessing over it because the more you obsess about something the more you lose uh, that gradually right the more you obsess about something more that thing runs away from you right uh, so therefore understand that this is a never ending game if you just keep it at a level of obsession in your mind but at a practical level you can pursue better opportunities that you get in life absolutely nothing wrong with it but do not come under this misconception that i will only be happy when i get that right because when you get that there will be a new destination so it's like a game which you cannot win and which you cannot stop playing right so get out of this game and uh, do whatever is best in your interest uh, after consultation with 
your good friends, your well-wishers and your uh, family members or your guides, your gurus, your counselors. Okay. Thank you very much. Uh, if you are new to the channel, then please subscribe to it down below. And if you want a consultation from me, you will find the website down in the description section. What is there with you all the time? Just look to him and you will find him.